Okay, so we're at the process now of our disc brake conversion to where we gotta change the master cylinder. Now, before we do anything with the brake master cylinder, we need to bench bleed it. So we're gonna do that process very, very first right now. The first thing you wanna do is kinda of set your brake master cylinder in a vise is the best thing that you could probably use or any other type of device that you could secure it uh, that way it's not going to go anywhere because you're going to have to work this plunger and you're going to have to run your brake lines up into your master cylinder. Some people might ask why you have to do this and the very simple answer is you get air that's trapped inside the master cylinder itself and if you do just your normal bleeding process on the car it's very very difficult to get the air out of this master cylinder and down through the brake calipers or wheel cylinders and get it removed. And thus you end up with a soft spongy pedal. So to get started on this process, most master cylinders will come with a little uh, kit with a lot of different fittings or whatnot. Um, if you don't have the right fittings, you can get like, you know, an assortment kit such as this from your local auto parts store. Um, so we're gonna put these fittings in here, they're plastic. So that way if you, you know, happen to cross thread it or something to that effect, it's not gonna damage the threads inside of there. So we're just gonna put them in here, snug them up. Obviously you can't tighten them overly tight because they are plastic. So, but just kind of snug enough to where it's gonna you know, seal good enough for what we're trying to accomplish. Obviously, with what we're doing with our brake conversion, we have a, a master cylinder that is set up for a disc in the front and a drum in the rear. Um, if you're buying this master cylinder just as a replacement or whatever, you wanna make sure you have the correct one because, you know, there's different master cylinders for a drum drum car or a disc disc car or a disc drum car. So just kind of keep that in mind. So this is set up for a, a front disc rear drum car. Um, when the question comes out as far as what kind of brake fluid to use, always consult the manufacturer of the master cylinder. Because if you're going with like a performance, you know, type, uh, they may require like a, a dot four or dot five. Um, this is still uh, a, a general uh, street driving master cylinder. It's not a performance based deal and so we're going to use uh, the standard dot three brake fluid is what's recommended on this car you're going to have these nice little clear plastic tubes i love the clear plastic tubes because then you can kind of see the air bubbles traveling through and then you have your little clips like this you want these tubes to be submerged in brake fluid at all times when doing this. And so we're going to fill up our reservoir. Okay, now from here, all you really have to do is just work your plunger, which is simulating you working the pedal. Um, you can use like a standard screwdriver, or if you happen to have a, a push rod, this is an actual uh, master on a push rod. I have a, a lot of spares of these. So, um, but either way, like that's all you gotta do is just kind of slowly work it. So you're gonna see the bubbles of air start to work out. And I'm just gonna take it a little easy at first. And don't be afraid to do this for a while because I'd rather do this excessively rather than trying to figure out why my pedal is soft on my car and I can't get the air to bleed out. So I would rather take an extra 10 minutes doing this then, you know, a couple hours trying to bleed extra wheel cylinders, 
and calipers trying to find any lost air in the system. So, um, you'll notice like your reservoir might be dropping as you first do this because you're you're purging all the air out of out of your cylinder, and so your reservoir is going to drop. And so you'll just continue to do this process until you are not seeing any more air coming out. It should start to get a little harder as you do this. It should get a little stiffer. Okay, so after you've been doing this for a while, um, you're not going to see any bubbles going through your tubes. You're not going to see any air bubbles coming up out of the bottom of the reservoir. And so like it should feel like noticeably stiffer as you are pumping. And at that point, you know, I usually give it a, you know, another minute or so of uh, just some good solid pumping. And after that much time, I usually call it safe. And so from here, um, I try to, you know, I don't dump the, the brake fluid out i put the cap on and i i try to plug up my ports here because you don't want that to run empty so so this procedure is officially done um, we just have to install the master cylinder now essentially that's how you bench bleed your master cylinder so i have these little plugs that i can plug in my ports here so as i just kind of take this take these off you can then stick these little plugs directly into the the brake fluid line and just kind of plug it up while you carry it over to the car and get your brake lines mounted up. It's probably also important to note that uh, you do not want to get this stuff on the paint of your car or, or anything really. Brake fluid is very, very nasty stuff. Um, it, will, it will eat through your paint. So if you do happen to drip any on there, you need to immediately clean it up. Okay, so we can just cap that off and then we can carefully carry over to the car. So she should be bench bled and ready to go. So we appreciate you watching. We appreciate your support. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel for future classic Mustang content.